Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to check how weight affects the range of the car. Uh, what happens if we put additional, let's say, uh, 100, 120 kilograms into the car and if the, our range is going to be reduced. What's the difference between uh, traveling every day, like, I don't know, commuting to work and back, and from the other side, if we are planning to uh, take a road trip with family, and of course we need to take another people on board, and uh, luggage, suitcases, maybe some stuff to the trunk and so on, so knowing that we will better plan our um, trip and first we are on supercharger we are going to charge the car up to 90 percent and then we will make the road trip uh, it's just a road 100 kilometers there and back then i will come back to the garage take um, some stuff uh, and we will go back for the same road hopefully the same weather conditions while we are traveling it's uh, worth to mention that uh, traveling in tesla is very convenient i can say that i can uh, find very comfortable position behind the steering wheel i have plenty of adjustment in the steering wheel in the seat in the mirrors and beside that we can use autopilot which uh, save our let's say energy <laughs> So we are responsible for traveling, for making decisions. So we need to be very careful uh, while using autopilot. So Tesla is very comfortable luxury sedan and we know about that. And, and also driving Tesla, steering Tesla is very easy, uh, convenient, it's relaxing. So I very much enjoy cruising around. Uh, the big plus in uh, Norway is that you have plenty chargers, superchargers, rapid chargers around and beside that you have also many supercharger stations. So we drove exactly 102 kilometers, 300 meters. Total energy use is uh, 18.2 kilowatt hours. Average energy use is um, 178 watt hours per kilometer. Uh, it's a bit different displayed over here for past 25 kilometers. It's slightly lower, 162 watt hours per kilometer. So you see it's even lower than average total. We have 204 watt hours per kilometer. So now we are going to back to garage and we load the car with uh, some extra weight and we do the same test. We drove 102 kilometers and 600 meters. Total energy use 19.7 kilowatt hours and average energy use is 192 watt hours per kilometer. So as you can see, we use a way more uh, energy than, uh, than previously. And here you have instrument cluster with uh, last uh, average uh, consumption, which was 176 watt hours per kilometer for past 25 kilometers. And this time we left with 59%, uh, which means we are lower. Uh, nevertheless, uh, if we're traveling with load, we need to keep in mind that the range will be reduced. So what's the conclusion? If we travel with weight, we will lose the range about 10% for, let's say, two people. Keep in mind that if you don't need something to carry on in the car, some luggage or uh, items like ski box or cables, so better is not to keep it. So the conclusion is it's better to just remove things you don't need and save the energy and save the money because otherwise you will spend 10% just for uh, keeping unnecessary stuff in the car. So thank you very much for watching and I see you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe this channel because in the next video 
we are going to test BMW i3 S.